My dearest Frank, I wish you joy of Mary's safety with a boy, whose birth has given little pain compared with that of Mary Jane. May he a growing blessing prove, and well deserve his parents' love, endowed with arts and nature's good, thy name possessing in thy blood. In him, in all his ways, may we another Francis William see. Thy infant days may he inherit, thy warmth, nay, insolence of spirit. We would not with one fault dispense to weaken the resemblance. May he revive thy nursery sin, peeping as daringly within his curly locks, but just decried with bet my be not come to bide. Fearless of danger, braving pain, and threatened very oft in vain, may still one terror daunt his soul, one needful engine of control. Be found in this sublime array a neighboring donkey's awful bray. So many his equal faults as child produce maturity as mild. His saucy words and fiery ways in early childhood pettish ways in manhood show his father's mind like him considerate and kind. All gentleness to these around and eager only not too wound. Then like his father too he must to his own former struggles just, feels his desert with honest glow, and all his self-improvement know, a native fault may thus give birth to the best blessing, conscious worth. As for ourselves, we're well, as unaffected prose will tell. Cassandra's pen will paint our state, the many comforts that await, our chotten home, how much we find already in it to our mind. And how convinced that we, that when complete, it will all other houses beat, that have ever been made or mended with rooms concise or rooms distended. You'll find us very snug next year, perhaps with Charles and Fanny near. For now it often does delight us to fancy them just override us. <laughs>